1600 meters and away they go Liana was slow by two lengths when the starter said go. On the other hand, Royce Novice, the first one to respond, presses on a length. Favourite Amex is right there, second, tackled by Through the Trees in the blue and black silks. They're going eyeball to eyeball in second. Whispering Hill racing away on the outside, a little bit heady for a stride or two, Ruby Cove. Then comes Indian Rain, settled mid-division, five lengths off them. Call me tonight, that has the shadow roll. And now Leanna makes up a length or two towards the inside against the bridle. Whisper in the wind is nine lengths off them. Just Nats is the trailer, spots them ten lengths start. They go past the 800 meter marker. Roy's novice has the lead. And she has the lead by three parts of a length. Whispering Hill is racing away in second. Favourite Amex is just waiting toward the inside, yellow sleeves and cap, followed through by Ruby Cove. Green sleeves and cap, three to make up, Liana. Towards the outside, trying to get into the shake-up through the trees. Coming inside the 400, the favourite Amex moves up down the middle. On the outside, through the trees and the blue sleeves and cap becomes a runner. On the inside of those, Liana's trying to close in. Now through the trees, runs an absolute cracker. Call me tonight's running on Amex the inside. But at this stage, through the trees by a neck. Amex is trying to come back. Amex and through the trees. Through the trees one at Amex second. Call me tonight and Indian Rain. Ding Dong Struggle, Through the Trees, The Karari, Andre Fouché, The Cars, Cornwalls, Van Lorne, Step Aside, Syndicate, The Cars, and going to get the head down. Amex tries to come back for one last bite, but as they hit the line, number one, Through the Trees, by a head. Number one, Through the Trees. Amex second, Call Me Tonight gets a mention, beats in a length and a tail third. And that fourth position, number eight, Indian Rain from the Julie Dittner stable for the quartets. Through the trees is a daughter of Karari, bred by the Main Chance Farms, a 325,000 rand buy. Elected to come the centre outside. Amex was down the middle, just starts to drift slightly, head twisted awkwardly, running around. And through the trees, one off the outside. Both of them come together. You'll see riders now asking for maximum. And number one, through the trees. Blue sleeves and cap is going to get the better of exchanges from the favourite number two, Amex, as they drive to the post. One, through the trees. Back to the studio. Let's see if I can remember some of them. Andre Fusier, The Cars, uh, Grant Cornwell, Brett Van Lorn. What's this? Uh, a side syndicate. I've actually scratched that. What, what a side syndicate it's is a that? Step aside syndicate. Step aside. I actually scratched out the P. Sorry about that, Lauren. But nice win from your filly. Uh, and of course, last time out. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice to see when they confirm the improvement from one run to the next, Lauren. Absolutely. She's, she's improved each time she's come to the track. I think last time she was caught just a little bit far over ground. She was still green. She was racing in snatches. Lyle uh, was quite positive about her and said she's still learning. And he would um, try and ride her a bit more positively today. You know, we're drawn. It wasn't a big field, but we're still drawn wide. But she came out better and she sort of got herself up there easier. She sat one off the fence in third and just waited by his time. She probably got there a bit sooner than she needed to. Um, I do think she's still learning. I still think she's quite immature. She's got to furnish and grow. Uh, she's a bit leggy and lanky still. She's got a nice pedigree, so I'm hoping there's still a bit more improvement. Tough game, Lawrence, you know, with the regards to support, but I really like the way you're picking your spots. One runner today, one winner, you know, it's all about placing your horses, and you've done a superb job with her here. Thanks, Deez. When You know, when you've got a slightly better bred horse, it does make life a bit easier. Just very well done to all these guys, especially Andre Fouché. It's his first winner with me in his colours. We've had a bit of bad luck with a couple of others, but he really liked this filly's pedigree. Um, so we went and tried to border, and we managed to get her. It is a nice family. Her half-brother, by Burson Gedderick, has just gone for over a million on the, on the Cape Sale. Mm. So it is a nice family. Good luck to him. Um, Brett Van Lorne, Jeremy Carr, Andrew Carr, uh, Grant Cornell as well. He's overseas at the moment. He's just become a grandfather, so good luck to him. And a couple of step-aside boys in here as well. So 
thanks to them and also to Main Chance Farms. It's all about support. You never know when the wind will turn the low end, but it's results like this that speak for itself. Well done, yeah. Thanks, and well done to Lyle as well. He's uh, such a pleasure to have him around. He's a good young lad, and he's positive, and he, he's learned his game very well already. So it's, it's always good to have a good boy in the saddle. Well done, Lord. Thank you. Let's get Lyle Yudsen in. He's been waiting patiently as the sun smiles through. It's turned out to be a wonderful afternoon. A lot of cloud cover when I arrived, but it's turned out to be a beautiful afternoon. A horse that you got to know last time out, Lyle? Yes, yeah. Um, last time out, again, we were drawn wide and um, opted then to give him a chance and learn a bit about him. And he flew on late to, to a Joburg Raider. And uh, we we're very positive that uh, he would improve from that, so I made sure we got on it next time. And um, yeah, I'm just really appreciative to Mr. The Nation for keeping, keeping me on and um, glad that today I could produce the goods. Gutsy win because you had a race on your hand that other horse didn't throw in the towel. Yes, 100%. Very gutsy. Um, last time from the back, running in snatches, pulled out and with the, the 200 meter mark, only really the penny dropped and quickened from there. So today I thought I could get into a handy position and I, I got there. It was a dream run for, for me, but I, I came out early into the straight to get on winding. And I probably hit the front line too soon, you know, and, and almost seemed to like flat line thereafter. But as soon as the challenge came, he uh, stuck his neck out again and, uh, yeah, I came away with it. So I think very progressive and uh, just really grateful that I could be aboard. It's unfortunate that uh, two of your horses were scratched today, but you still have rides to come. Uh, you know, you, you don't know the horses, but uh, on paper they look competitive. Yes, I thought I had a really competitive card. Um, obviously, a little bit frustrating with those two uh, really nice rides being scratched. But uh, with saying that, I think we're still going to be knocking at the door all day. Hard to put my head down and say what's next best, but um, it's been a good start so far, and uh, hopefully we can keep, keep there and thereabouts and hopefully another in the box today. There'll be speed bumps uh, during the course of the season. You just experienced one now for, the, for this week. Yes, yeah, just as the momentum got going, you know, really, really sort of firing on the winners and end up with a week's suspension, but that's part of the game. And uh, just now that when I come back, I'm still hungry and I'll be riding lots more. Well, good ride here. Thank you very much. Like I said, to the whole team, well done to them, and thanks for keeping me aboard. To all the owners, and especially in Mr. Fouché's colours, thanks to him. And to my sponsor, Aventure, well done. All the best for the rest of the afternoon. Lyle Hewitson here on horse number one through the trees. One, two, four, and eight is the way they cross the line. Race number three, and I'm sure there'll be few complaints unless you bank at horse number two, Amex, in your pick six. But up next, it's jackpot time, 14.35. They I don't know if there is a delay after the delay of running of race number three, but if there is, we'll keep you posted. All things being equal, 25 to 3.